Welcome back, my spiritual travelers. My name is David Fetro. I'm the Spiritual Drifter. In today's video, we're going to explore the seven stages of spiritual awakening, shedding light on the profound transformations that occur as one progresses along the enlightening path. I would love to know what stage you find yourself in at the current time. Leave a comment below to let me know where you're at in this wild ride. It's going to help me pick out topics for new videos in the future. Embarking on a journey of spiritual awakening is like setting foot on a path shrouded by mystery, wonder, and self-discovery. This transformative odyssey leads individuals to transcend the limitations of the material world and delve into the depths of their true self. So let's get into the stages. Stage one, a call from within, the awakening seed. The first stage of spiritual awakening is often initiated by a deep inner yearning or a call from within. It's a moment of awakening where someone becomes aware of a greater purpose and desire for a more meaningful experience. This initial seed of awakening sparks curiosity, contemplation, and the quest for answers to life's existential questions. You start seeing the world for the true self for the first time. Some things can be very confusing, others eh, quite terrifying. Everything you thought was real becomes blurred or just plain not true. You honestly don't know right from wrong at this point. It's like getting your boots stuck in mud, but you keep trudging on. Once you start seeing the truth, there is no going back. So, stage two, seeking the truth, the quest begins. In this second stage, individuals embark on a search for truth and seek guidance from various spiritual teachings, traditions, or practices. They explore different philosophies, religions, or belief systems to find resonance with their inner quest. This stage is marked by a thirst for knowledge, an open mind, and a willingness to question existing paradigms. In this stage, you will find yourself searching for like-minded individuals. You do this not only for information, because you might feel a little crazy with all these thoughts and feelings running through your head. Remember this, none of these thoughts and feelings are wrong and none of them are right. They just are. You'll understand that later. In this stage, you might find yourself questioning the relationships that you have made in your life. You're starting to realize that you're outgrowing the ones around you. Even your closest relationships will be questioned. You find your emotions all across the board. You don't know whether to be happy, sad, or angry. This is where the fun begins. Speaking of fun, if you like what you're hearing so far in this video, I invite you to subscribe, clicking the button below so you get notified of the new videos that come out. And now to the dark and not so fun. Stage three, the dark night of the soul, embracing the shadows. As the spiritual journey deepens, individuals often encounter the dark night of the soul. This stage is characterized by a profound sense of inner turmoil, emotional upheaval, and the confrontation of deep-rooted fears, traumas, or unresolved issues. It is in this transformative period where individuals must face and embrace their shadows to facilitate healing and growth. There will be times that the sadness and pain you have buried deep will erupt out of you like a massive volcano. You will feel like no one understands you, and most of the time, you just want to be alone. There are times that the pain is so great that you just want to run away. It is not just one pain that is bubbling up to the surface. It's multiples at one time. There may be times that you question yourself about taking this journey, but you will find the call of transformation is just too great and you can't quit. And really, you really couldn't if you tried. Stage four, 
the inner alchemy transformation and integration. In the fourth stage, the inner alchemy of transformation begins to unfold. Through self-reflection, inner work, and spiritual practices, individuals start to integrate their newfound awareness and insights. They cultivate self-awareness, forgiveness, and compassion. They start to dismantle old patterns and belief systems that no longer serve their spiritual evolution. In this stage, most of the pain is gone, or at least the residual is manageable. You're starting to feel your strength and power. When the pain does arise, you have newfound tools to deal with it. At this point, you have removed your old friends, or they have removed you. Most people think that others are putting labels on themselves like crazy, they're out there, or they just plain lost it. And for the most part, they would be right. People that have not gone through an awakening have no idea what is happening to you. As much as you try to explain yourself, they just don't get it. But the silver lining is you find great peace and happiness with the new friends that you are making. You find yourself watching countless hours of spiritual videos, reading as many spiritual books as you can get your hands on. You will feel that each book or video watch, you attain the Holy Grail, only to find it in the next video that you watch. Some find themselves spending half their paycheck in spiritual shops, trying to reach that nirvana. If you haven't reached this stage yet, save your money. I know some people swear by crystals, and if that works for them, by all means, do what makes you happy. All in all, this is a kind of fun stage, and you deserve a little fun after going through the hell of the last stage. Stage five, the awakening mind expanding consciousness. The fifth stage marks a significant expansion of consciousness. Individuals experience a profound shift in perception, witnessing the intercon intercon interconnectedness, <laughs> say that a couple times, of all the things and the illusory nature of separation. They develop heightened intuition, expanded awareness, and deep connection with the divine, transcending the limitations of the egoic mind. This is where they switch the ego and the heart from master to slave, respectively. Fun abilities start to come out at this point. You find that all the trinkets that you purchased in the last stage are not needed. In fact, the word need drops from your vocabulary. A cycling of new friends will surely happen at this point, at least the ones that are not raising their vibration. Much of your learning comes from within, Unfortunately, many find themselves stuck at this point, not sure which way to go. It is at this point where the next stage starts to sneak its way in. Stage six, surrendering and trust, letting go and flowing. In this stage, individuals learn the art of surrender and trust. They relinquish the need for control and allowing life to just unfold naturally. They realize that trying to direct their life only ends up taking them where they don't want to be. Surrendering to the flow of the universe, they embrace the concept of divine timing and learn to trust their intuition, synchronicities, and the unfolding of their unique life path. Basically, you feel like you are a passenger on a train that is going anywhere it wants to. And you know what? You're okay with that. In fact, it kind of excites you. Stage seven, embodied presence, the full blooming. This is the final stage of spiritual awakening in the embodiment of the awakened presence. Individuals transcend the need for external validation and live authentically from the heart. They radiate love, compassion, and wisdom, positively impacting the world around them. This stage is marked by a deep sense of inner peace, unity consciousness, and harmonious integration of the spiritual and the physical. In the koshas, or the five layers of self, 
This is called the Bliss Body. I have a great video that I will link to at the end of this one about the koshas. So many think that this stage is void of lower vibrations. It's not. However, they say that the Buddha never got angry or fell prey to the lower vibrations. He may not have shown it, but I will guarantee you he did feel it. The ego stays with us just like the heart does. At this point, you have learned to control your ego, but it will rear its ugly head every once in a while. Very few people will reach this last stage in their lifetime. Most will dive in and out of this stage. This is mostly due to the world around them. The stages of spiritual awakening are a profound and transformative journey, inviting individuals to explore the depths of their being and connect with their true essence. From the initial awakening seed to the embodiment of awakening presence, each stage offers unique challenges insights, and opportunities for growth. By embracing the process with openness, courage, and self-compassion, individuals can embark on a transformative path that leads to self-realization, inner peace, and a profound connection with the divine. So here's the video that I was talking about, The Bliss Body. I highly recommend that you watch this. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that it has sincerely helped you in a huge way. Until next time.